Welcome to our lecture online. It's kind of interesting to compare the size of Venus to the size of the Earth and a little bit to the rest of the terrestrial planets. It turns out the size of Venus is almost the same as the size of the Earth, especially when we talk about the diameter or the radius of the planet. The diameter is almost 95% the diameter of the Earth. So when you put them side by side, you don't see a lot of difference relative to the size. And so, as you can imagine, since the Earth is a fairly large planet, and as we go discover all the various continents and all the various mountain ranges and deserts and valleys and so forth, well, Venus is almost the size of the Earth, and it doesn't have any oceans. So, not only do we discover everything that would typically be the continents, we also are discovering the formations of the crust where the oceans would be if there were oceans. So there's actually way more land surface to be investigated and to be discovered and to be looked at when it comes to Venus than when we talk about the Earth. So you'll see there's lots and lots of things to talk about when we start looking at the surface of Venus because of its size. Now when we take the radius and we cube it, we have a relative size for the volume. So if the diameter is about 95% the diameter of the Earth, then the volume is about 85% the volume of the Earth. Mass-wise, about 81.5% the mass of the Earth. That is because not only is the volume 85%, the density is somewhat smaller as well. So when we multiply 95% times 85%, we roughly get about 81.5%. That's the density of the of the planet uh, the planet Merc uh, the planet Venus. I'm thinking about Mercury here, but I'm talking about Venus. So now, even though the density of Venus is less than the density of the Earth by about five percent, we can probably expect about the same consistency of rock and metal, the same internal structure where we have a metal core and a rocky mantle around it, because the densities are close and we know that the density must be greater in the Earth even with the same proportions because Earth is a little bit bigger and therefore compresses everything a little bit more at the, at the core and therefore there's more pressure and greater density for the same material at the core of the Earth. Another interesting fact about comparing Venus, Mars, Mercury and Earth is that the total mass of the Earth by itself is slightly more than the mass of the three other terrestrial planets combined. So when we take Venus, Mars, and Mercury together, they do not have as much mass as Earth by itself. It's not by a lot, just one or two percent or so, but nevertheless, another interesting fact. So the reason why, again, there's so much to be looked at and seen on the surface of Venus is because not only is Venus almost the size of the Earth, there are no oceans, so there's much more surface area to be to be looked at and to be studied. And so we'll see that there's a lot to be seen on the surface of Venus. Anyway, that's a good, that gives you a good idea about the relative size of Venus to the rest of the planets, at least the terrestrial planets.